Well, this setting is a little different than we're used to. Welcome back to DCC Sodor, everyone. Today, um, I may sound a little off, uh, just getting over a little bit of a cold. Um, but today we're going to be looking at some N-Scale Thomas and Friends locomotives. Specifically, today we're going to be looking at, of course, at, everybody knows it's Thomas. But, um, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at Thomas. So, the Bachman N-Scale line was announced ooh, back in 2020. I'll, uh, I'll put that on the screen if that's not the right date. Uh, and we finally received models last year. No, late 2021, I believe it was, when we received the first N-Scale locomotives. Um, and then... Er, mid 2022 we received James and now Toby looks to be not too far off and then we've also got Emily Gordon announced um, no prototypes of those yet but uh, let's talk about the packaging for a second so I really like this uh, jewel case packaging of course um, if you are an N-Scale fan as I am you know that this is kind of the standard for N scale locomotives and rolling stock. I don't have any rolling stock here with me. It's all in the other room, but I can tell you that it is the standard. So first we've got an ad for the Bachman catalog. Uh, I don't need that. They have it online for a reason. And then the one year limited warranty. Unfortunately, doesn't look like they give you the little registration cards anymore. Um, yeah. So you need to have your original receipt instead. Hmm. Interesting. Used to be those little cards I used to religiously send those in because I was always afraid that I would burn something up in my locomotives. Um, then we've got this other piece of paperwork. Oh man, this is a pain in the butt. So here is our exploded parts diagram with that. I really like the way that this Thomas is kind of all one piece. And the butt, you know, got. Uh, the foot plate and then the chassis also looks like he's got turned metal bearings on his axles. Really good to see. Of course, Sam's, train, Sam's trains would love that. Uh, anyways, uh, it also talks about a break in period, uh, troubleshooting if you're having issues getting it running, and other than that. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's, see, oh, let's get this folded back up. And uh, take a closer look. Oh man, come on. Uh, Alright, we'll deal with that later. Let's take a closer look at Thomas. So, yeah, uh, Thomas is very small like extremely small but I kind of I, I find that really like adorable and charming just look at that face I really like I feel like that really captures the CGI Thomas um other people have had other opinions but I feel like this is a really good representation of the CGI Thomas and just the proportions of it are so much better than the Bachman Icho scale model uh and um, comparing it to a Tomix one has better detail, in my opinion, with the added brake hoses, the correct looking lamp, lamp irons. The only thing I don't like is the molded whistle in the cab, but that's not a terrible thing. I mean, I just don't understand why Percy's is separately fitted and Thomas's isn't, but maybe Thomas's would have been more difficult to mold and look correctly, but I think it looks fine. 
And from a distance, it's really hard to tell. And the paint application is done fairly well. Uh, and again, you can see, I like that they added a little splotch of black paint just to keep the tanks and the, the splasher separate. The, these wheels are solid. There's no uh, mold. It's all one molded piece and then all painted blue. Which isn't the best, but it looks okay. And the chunky side rods aren't as bad as I expected them to be. They do have these gross old, um, what we call here in America, repeto couplers. Uh... In the future, I'll be replacing these with some knuckle couplers so that they run, so that I can get Thomas to run with all of my other N-gauge stuff. Because to me, this is goofy and it looks awful. And I don't like these couplers at all. I've had much better luck with what these Kato locomotives, what I've put on these Kato locomotives, such as Microtrain's couplers or even Athern's McHenry couplers. Um, that's a video for a different time. Um, what else do we have to talk about here? Um, no stripes on the back. So this is technically a pre-season 19 uh, slash adventure begins, Thomas. Will I add it? Well, considering where the lamp is, it would be kind of difficult to add the at it. I think Arc actually moved the lamp down to get the lining correctly. Um, but that's, that's Thomas. So, um, I'm actually going to take my Microtrain's uh, coupler height gauge here, and we'll be talking a little more about end gauge in a little bit, so, um, you know, over the next couple months you'll understand. If you aren't an end scale person, or at least an American end scale Enthusiast, you might not know about the brand Microtrains. They do N scale and Z scale stuff. And they're kind of the, what we call the standard over here in America, just like a KD. So here, this is a coupler height gauge. You can see this is uh, the knuckle kind of Microtrains coupler. A lot smaller, nice, not as much of an eyesore. This has a track gauge, a trip pin gauge, and a wheel set gauge. So let's take a look here and see how Thomas's wheel gauge is. All wheels look to be in gauge for end scale. Um, obviously, we'll get some better clips of this, but there is no problem with clearances here. His couplers don't have any issues clearing anything. Um, and because these aren't on the tracks, but, you know, two different couplers, it wouldn't work as the height. You know, I can't test the height because this is the wrong coupler. And uh, But uh, Bachman actually sells uh, their own Easy Mate couplers that drop right in here. You know, just take these two screws off, and I believe this bottom plate will pop out, and you just put the new screws in, and you're good to go. I am not going to take this guy apart right now to show you what's inside. Um, I'm going to be doing a DCC installation on this one. I'm waiting for the decoder to come in the mail so that I can do that. And uh, that might, that'll either be a addendum to this video or its own separate video, depending on how long I ramble about Thomas. Um, so that's about it. You know, let's, uh, I've got a short piece of track up here. Let's let's see this guy running. Let me uh, move the camera here, and uh, we we'll get to see him rolling down the track. All right, and there goes Thomas. Can run the other direction. You can see when I let off the power, um, it's got a nice little flywheel effect. So it definitely has to have some kind of flywheel in him, which is really good. Um, he's actually surprisingly weighty 
for as small as he is. Uh, I don't have a scale on me, but if I did, I would uh, weigh him for you. As you can see, he runs real well on this Kato Unitrack. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting him going on a proper layout. I have slightly, I mean, I have some end scale track, but it's all hooked up to DCC at the moment, so I don't want to mess around and keep changing it back and forth from DC to DCC. But once this guy is DCC equipped, um, I'll make another video because I realized that today is the day before Martin Luther King Day, and here in America, Martin Luther King Day is a mail holiday, so the mail is not delivered. So we'll just have to wait until Tuesday. Um, so this video will probably come out Martin Luther King Day. And then later in the week, we'll have the video on the DCC installation. Maybe it'll be the weekend. I am unsure at the moment. And I hope you can't hear that, but it sounds like uh, my father's working on a stereo and he's getting it running. So before I get copyrighted claimed or something, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the DCC installation on this guy. And I'll also be showing you how I upgrade him to, to knuckle couplers and as well as the rolling stock. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and goodbye. I think we're going to add on to my end scale video here. I'm going to talk about installing this DCC decoder in this little guy. This one, small enough that it'll actually fit inside Thomas. So, without further ado, on a Pull out a couple screws here. See a screw there, 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 <clears throat> and there, and it won't focus on that. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Uh, okay, it doesn't want to focus on those screws, but I'll show you after I've taken them out. All right, so we've got the body off, and. See, this is the board I'll be taking out. This is just the DC blanking board with some little inductors to keep everything kind of clean. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to unscrew that, unsolder these wires, probably shorten these wires up a little bit. Uh, and the decoder will just kind of fit right on there. Easy enough. And I may also pull the right this weight out so that I can uh, take the running plate off so that I don't damage it as well. All right, so unfortunately, just given the small size of this guy, it was really, really difficult to be able to show this. So I'm just gonna show like the end results. Uh, I used a little bit of Kapton tape to kind of cover up some of these and you can see where it kind of didn't quite cover up and I'll have to fix that a little bit um, just to get some of these connections isolated uh, using this little decoder and then Thomas's body just fits right down on and I'm not going to put it on all the way since I need to fix that but once I do um, I tested it and it does work so once I've fi fixed this little exposed connection I screw Thomas's body down on and I'll have a video of him running
comes to a nice smooth stop and uh, see if the track's clean enough that we can get him there. Oh yeah. So this is a little bit of a, an overview of how I installed DCC uh, into the Thomas. And you know, this was kind of added on to my review. Yeah, I also got Annie and Clarabelle and the two troublesome trucks to go with him. And he runs pretty well. I'm impressed with the slow speed control thanks to this ESU Logue Pilot 5. We've been at about 10 out of 28 speed steps from the Logue programmer. He runs pretty, pretty nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, look out for more. Bachman and Scale Thomas reviews and DCC installs in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.